All right, hey, this is Mike with Plus 8 Precision, and uh, let me give you a look at the new acquisition of an old piece of equipment to the uh, Plus 8 Precision shop. What you're looking at is the back of a Bridgeport Interact 412. This really isn't a shop tour, but... You kind of kind of get a look at the shop too. Um, this is a circa 1987, three of 87. Just brought it home today. Had a rigging company move it for me. Uh, just cheaper in the long run. They take the responsibility of it on the road and everything, so <clears throat> that's all on them. Everything went pretty smooth. Standard height garage door, 82 inches to the bottom of the weather seal. Height of the machine, about 76, 78 inches, somewhere in there to the top. I had to take the fan cowling off, and uh, there's a shroud that covers the ways. That's all leaning down. Did that this morning before uh, the rigging company showed up. Here's a look at the aisle way. That's roughly 30 inches from the front of the machine here to... The quick change gearbox handles. Now the controller sticks out a little bit more, but again, this is the initial look. Um, we lost a window in transit. Don't know what happened to it. If somebody finds it on the road, give me a call. I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> Coolant pump little bit of tooling I think uh, six six tool holders not sure how usable they are useful uh, it's quite dirty in here came out of came out of a foundry where they machined um, like second operations on some small die cast metal castings there's a look at the controller Not sure how to pronounce that. Heidenhain, Heidenham, TNC 151. Not sure what's wrong with it. I was told that everything will turn on, but then it's just kind of frozen. So I don't know if there's an error. Maybe the homing switch isn't working right. You know, maybe. Uh, a limit switch. Who knows? Maybe air. Could be a number of any, a number of things. Um, could be going wrong. So, my thought was for the money I paid for this, I'm getting solid cast iron. Cast iron. Hardened boxways, servos, ball screws, all that's buried in here somewhere. <clears throat> I think it's a, I believe it's a 5,000, maybe 6,000, I don't know, spindle. You know, obviously, uh, we don't know what works and what doesn't work. So we get kind of a project in front of us. This will not consume our time, though. Uh, we will dedicate bursts of time towards this project. First one being getting it cleaned up so it's not so uncomfortable to work on. Um, you know, maybe get some of the shrouding off of it. Take it up to the quarter car wash. 
get it all cleaned up. Um, I'm not a super duper restoration guy, as if you follow my channel, you know that. I like machines to just run. <clears throat> I would prefer this machine turns on the moment I hook power to it, but you know. Right? You know. I do need help from you guys locating manuals. The company couldn't locate them. And uh, they're going to keep looking. Hopefully they can come up with some manuals. Um, I don't have faith in that. So if anybody's got a copy of a manual that you want to sell or donate to the channel, that would be very helpful. <clears throat> Even the, like a maintenance manual. I don't know where to start with all this stuff. Uh, you know, anything, anything towards the um, prominence or lineage of this machine. I don't know how long they were around. I have seen many iterations online with different controllers, FANUC controllers, you know, newer versions of the Heidenheim controller, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, correct me in the comments, phonetically. But, uh, you know, one of the things I looked at I can never open this door. Is everything is fairly like unmolested in here? You know, I've worked in some, uh, large places, and uh, when you get a look at the the the, um, the control cabinets, they're usually jumper wired out. Wires going here, wires going there, and and this looks fairly unmolested, like. Uh, you know, what could the problem be? I don't know. <clears throat> we got some transformers down there. I don't know what all this stuff does. I'm clueless. But if I can't get it running the way it is, then I guess, uh, you know, we'll contemplate a retrofit. The new controller and scrap all this old technology out. You got this cabinet, some air relays, lubrication system, whatever this stuff is. Got air hoses going to it. Yeah, I don't know nothing about machinery like this. I know how to run it. I don't know how to run this controller. It's very old. Actually, uh, when this machine was made, I was still in high school. Never even heard of it. CNC. Heard about other things. So that's a quick look at it. Not a long video, I hope. Don't complain about the length of my videos. But that's it. If you guys can give me some help on this, I would appreciate it. I guess I'll post some stills at the end of this video to, uh, you know, give you a close-up of the controller. Maybe, maybe you guys have seen it before. But uh, I'm reaching out. I'm at the mercy of the YouTube community. Pull together. Pull your resources together. Put your grievances aside and help me out. Okay? Okay? Enough about you. Make this about me. Make this about Mike. And getting his old Bridgeport Variac Interact. Not Variac. Interact 412 machine working. Could have took that off, but it cleared. Got in the garage. All right, so that's the end of this video. Remember, if you like it, if you want to see this machine come to life, because it ain't really doing nothing here, just taking up space. And I was so proud of creating space in my garage. It was so nice to have it for 12 hours. But anyhow, if you want to see this machine come to life, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Those things all help me out. I'm still going for a thousand subscribers. Haven't got there, and I've been pushing this channel for four years, I believe. Maybe even five. I'm getting old doing it. So, uh, you know, come on. Subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime. And it means the world to me. 
This is Mike with Plus 8 Precision. Till the next one.